as I was visiting the Center for Advanced Laser Technologies and listening to researcher Marian Zamfirescu explaining the coherence of photons in laser light, I asked myself what would be the correspondent of quantum coherence at a human scale, at a society level? What makes our world coherent? And I think it's empathy with other humans, empathy with other beings, and our connection to our natural environment. I feel we're alienated from each other and we're alienated from nature. I imagine the universe as one giant living organism with a multitude of organs interconnected in a non-linear way. All of them as important because the survival, the growth and the healing of its broken parts depends on the degree of cohesion of the entire structure. I think the well-being of each one of us is significant and it contributes to our growth as a society and to the survival of our natural environment. So I imagined an installation that would place the visitor in a context to make a choice. Having one's head inside the module, the user is confronted with the faces of all the other users connected to the installation. So one can merely look at oneself and be interested in one's appearance, or rise above oneself, look at others and let oneself contaminated by their emotions. iHuman uses emotional cohesion as content to influence the feeding conditions of microorganisms and laser light as living content carrier. We are using light as an active information carrier. I developed this around the idea of empathy and interconnectivity. Try to analyze how individual interactions, such as the emotional state of a single person, can produce collective outcomes at different scales. A circuit of eight interconnected sculptures howl like wolves asking to be fed with emotions. Once superposed on the human body, they analyze facial biometrical data and diagnose the individual emotional status of each user, as well as the emotional cohesion of the group. We're using facial action coding system and deep neural networks. The sound has a very important role within the project. Each mask offers different soundscapes, inducing opposite psychological states. So the users need to override their personal context in order to emotionally synchronize. The dynamic inertial of transforming biomechanisms, schizoid, paranoid, reduces more many questions related to liberty and ethics. Fiindcă substratumul haotic, arhetipal din care venim, ne pare tot mai străin, tulburător sau amenințător. Reacțiile paranoide la acest substratum dezvăluie această ruptură sau înstrăinare, ceea ce duce negreșit la o cibernetizare a percepțiilor. Astfel se explică și relațiile tot mai dificitare sau disfuncționale cu mediul natural. Mitos Mikleușanu created emotional soundscapes that uh, facilitate the sensory induction and the user connection to a primordial space, a fluctuating substratum. The masks are connected to a biophotonics experiment taking place in real time in the bunker of Center for Advanced Laser Technologies in Magurele. The degree of emotional cohesion of the users connected to the installation controls the frequency and intensity of two laser beams feeding a Euglena population. The installation has eight masts. This means that we have eight channels. On each channel, we obtain a parameter that represents the emotional state of the software of recognition of facial. 
Fiecare individ care privește în mască primește un scor de o stare emoțională. Și ca să transform aceste numere într-un semnal optic, am zis să atașez la fiecare canal un fel de undă, un fel de semnal oscilant. Dacă pe canalul 1 avem, să spunem, un 0,8, pe canalul 2 avem un 0,82, deci foarte aproape. Așa mai departe, canalul 8 avem un 0,79. Deci avem sinusoide foarte apropiate, toate au aceeași frecvență, sunt în fază, deci la final când le însumăm, rezultă un semnal sinusoidal de intensitate mai mare. Și asta înseamnă stare de coerență între indivizi. Dacă această perioadă însumată este mai mică decât 0,7, rămâne o chestie oscilantă. Dacă este mai mare de 0,7, în loc de semnal oscilant, am zis să păstrăm un semnal de intensitate foarte mare. Primesc datele de la server, iar Raspberry Pi-ul trimite un semnal la un laser. Și aici este exact acel semnal care poate fi aleator sau poate să fie coerent. Deci aceste numere sunt transformate în semnal. Avem uh, moștile, cei sunt uh, telefoanele mobile, ce se transmit semnal prin internet la server. De la server, tot prin internet, trimit semnal la Raspberry Pi și la LED-uri, laserul 1 din microscop. The choice of this microorganism is symbolic. Euglena is considered to be the link between species. It is, I think, the only unicellular organism having both plant and uh, animal characteristics that are activated by the exposure to light. So we're feeding it with human emotional cohesion, translated into light, to activate a sort of uh, trans-species connection. While functioning as living experimental subjects, the users are also real-time observers of the experiment. Se pare că în funcție de lungime de undă, deci de culoare, euglenele se comportă diferit. Roșu se pare că le atrage, deci se hrănesc mai degrabă cu lumină roșie și fug de lumină albastră. De aceea am ales ca cele două lungimi de undă să le sincronizăm cumva cu starea emoțională a subiectilor. Number 8 is a symbol of a cyclical motion of the eternal return to self. And I think coherence is generated by looping behavior of information. This information forming a sort of uroboros, feeding on its own decay, feeding on scattering and on deviation, like a superconductor. Ironically, You need to let go of yourself in order to find self-coherence and coherence with others.